Private podcasts are an incredible way to reach the part of your audience that doesn't have time to watch video. Not to mention audio content is a great way to build trust and intimacy with your audience in a way that printed text rarely does. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a private podcast step-by-step, step. all right? Let's get into it. Welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed business owners streamline their social media and then the rest of their business by showing you how to get more revenue with less work. We're all about efficiency. And if that's something you'd like in your business, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. And if you want help with your social media overall, I love teaching entrepreneurs how to build their own streamlined plan. And I have a masterclass that's perfect for this. And I'll tell you how you can access it completely free at the end of this video, okay? So make sure to watch for that. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And in this video, we are showing you how to create a private podcast. Private podcasts are a great way to reach new audiences. Whether you give it away for free, and then people give you their email address in order to subscribe to the private podcast, or if you sell your paid content, your paid audio content. In fact, I saw a survey recently where in the United States, I think it was 19% of podcast listeners said they would be happy to pay for episodes of their favorite podcast. So paying for audio content is becoming more and more common, not to mention the fact that audio-only courses are one of the big trends that's exploding worldwide right now. And for people like you and I, audio content is way easier to create than video, and it's a much better way to build trust and intimacy with your audience than written words like blogs and things like that because your personality comes through as you are saying what you're gonna say in your private podcast. So let me walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to create a private podcast. Now I'm assuming some of you already know how to create an audio file and you just wanna know how to make it into a private podcast, but for anybody that doesn't, I've linked to a guide that shows you how to create the audio in the first place and you can find that in the description of this video. So once you've got your audio for your private podcast, you're gonna upload it to your podcast host. Now there are lots of different podcast hosts out there. In this tutorial, I'm gonna walk through using Hello Audio, which is the one that I use for my private podcast for my members that I have every single week. But you can look at lots of different ones. I will tell you one thing that I love about Hello Audio that I've not seen in a lot of other ones is they will actually let you upload a video file or an audio file. So if you don't have audio software, you might just record your podcast into video editing software, which tends to be more readily available and there are more free programs like that. Or if you're already recording videos for YouTube or Facebook Lives and you just wanna take the audio off of that and make it a private podcast, again, you don't have to convert anything, you can just upload the video file straight to Hello Audio and then they'll turn it into audio for your private podcast. So here in Hello Audio, I'm gonna start off by clicking create a new feed. And a feed is basically your podcast. That is your private podcast feed. You can see here it says public feed or private feed. So Hello Audio does actually have public podcasts as well. But in this video, of course, we're looking at private podcasts. So I'm gonna click create private. Then I'm gonna give it a title. If you want, you can give it an internal title if you wanna call it something different uh, with you or your team. You can give it labels. This is basically to organize it among your podcasts. If you had a bunch of different private feeds, for example, you can check this little box if you want everybody to be emailed when a new episode comes out. Type of feed, there's a couple of different types here, but for most of these, it's, you just want instant, which means as soon as you upload the new file and hit publish, it goes out to everybody. You'll add an author here. And then you put in a website, and if you have a website, you can put this in here, of course, but if not, you can always just link to your Facebook page, your YouTube channel, your Instagram, whatever you want. You just need to put some link in there. Next up, you can decide how soon after you publish an episode will it expire. So you may, for some reason, to create urgency to get people to listen sooner, you may wanna have it expire, like, hey, access our new private podcast for a week. So you have a few different options here, but I think in most situations, you'll just say never, right? You want them to continue. Then you can add a description to the private podcast if you want to. Uh, I'll skip that for now. I would recommend adding a feed image. So the feed image is basically the cover art or like the album cover, if you will, for your podcast. It just needs to be a square picture. It doesn't have to be a specific graphic or anything like that. I happen to have this one handy. This is the cover art for my public podcast. 
Uh, so I'm just putting this in here just so that you can see that there's something there. But you really want to have something there, otherwise it just kind of looks odd when somebody adds your private podcast to their podcast player. Next we'll hit save feed. It says success, your feed has been saved. So next thing you wanna do, of course, is upload an episode. So you're gonna take your audio file wherever you have it, and you can either click choose a file here, or if you have the file handy, you can just drag and drop it into that square. And if I scroll down, you're going to see that it is uploading down here. Now, this is actually an audio file from my public podcast. Again, we had an episode called How Do I Turn My Social Media Over to Someone Else? Um, but it was, again, one I had handy there. So we're gonna let that go. It's now uploaded already, depending on the size of your file and your internet speed, it will go slower or faster, uh, but it does take a second to process as well. So while it does that, I wanna show you how we're gonna share the private podcast. So two ways to do it. One is sort of semi-private, and that's what, is called a universal link. So right here, there is a link to your podcast and you can send this out to anybody and they can add your private podcast to their podcasting app on their phone or whatever device they're using. However, they can also take that same link and give it to a thousand other people and they can also add your private podcast. And if that's what you want, the more the merrier, great. But if you're charging people for this content or you wanna make sure anyone who gets it has to give you their email address first or anything like that, you're not gonna wanna use this universal link. But if you do wanna use this universal link, you just click this little plus sign on the clipboard there and it copies it to your clipboard and then you can paste that link into emails, social media posts, wherever you want it. What we're gonna do instead is we are going to use this listeners tab down here because this podcast is not for everybody. It's a private podcast. And so somebody either has to submit their email address to get access to it or pay or whatever you're gonna do for your business. So just come down here, click listeners. And it recommends here to add yourself as a test listener to start, which you can do. I wanna hop over really quick to my actual private podcast so you can see what this looks like though once that's set up. Now, after you've added your listeners, they'll be listed down here at the bottom, but the first time you're gonna add listeners, you're gonna click this blue button here. It says add listeners, well-named, and then you can paste up to a thousand email addresses separated by commas or even just a list, one per line in here, and it will add their, them to this, and then you have this little toggle turned on, so it will send them an introductory invitation email, and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second, so that they can listen to your podcast in your podcast player. If you wanna change what it says, for example, down here, this one says, we just set up your access for the Streamliners Club private podcast. So this is for my Streamliners Club membership. We do a private podcast of replays of the coaching calls and things like that so people can catch up on the go. So you can customize the text down here to be whatever you want it to say. And then your people will get an invitation. So remember we left our audio uploading and processing. I'm gonna now click on the audio here. And if you wanna change the title of it, right now by default, it's just gonna be the title of the file that you uploaded. So if you wanna change the name of the actual podcast, you can do that there, the title. Then down here, if you wanna add any show notes, you can do that. A universal footer is basically if you wanted to have, for example, a link to your social media platforms and your website at the bottom of all your show notes, you can just put that in there. So again, this one up here is specific, the rich text show notes is specific to this episode. Down here, this can go to all of your podcast episodes. Then we're gonna come down here and assuming it's finished processing, you can just hit publish episode. If it hasn't processed yet, then you won't see this. You can just hit save instead and then you can come back and finish it once it has processed. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit publish episode. And just like that, my super secret private podcast, which is what I called it for this tutorial, is ready to go. Now let me show you what this looks like from the user side if somebody is to subscribe to your private podcast, because this is important to know what they're getting on the other end. So whether you use the universal link or you specifically invited people to the private podcast, they'll get an email, they'll click a link, and this is what it will look like. So you can see here that it has the cover art. At the top, it says, subscribe to my super secret private podcast, which was again, what we called it. And then down below are some of the most popular podcast uh, apps. There's also a button for help there. You can see where it says, click here. So I'm on an iPhone here. And so since I listen in Apple Podcasts, I'm gonna click Apple Podcasts. 
And this automatically opens in the Apple Podcasts app and it says add a show by URL and it puts the link in there automatically. I hit, I hit follow and there it goes. It adds it to my podcast player. Now you'll see the two cover art next to each other that are the same. This is actually my public podcast, Social Media for Streamline Entrepreneurs. But remember we use the same cover art for this because it was handy. But if you look at the bottom here in purple, it says my super secret private podcast. So that's all your people have to do on the other side is click a link and then choose their podcast player and it adds it to their podcast player ready to go. Then every time you add a new episode, it will go out to them. Ready to set up your private podcast? One thing I'll say is if you don't have a podcast host, definitely look at the features that the companies offer before you sign up for one. And if you wanna try Hello Audio, which I showed you here in this video, you can go to usehelloaudio.com and sign up for a completely free trial right now. They don't even ask for a credit card. So it literally is, you can try it completely free. And again, you can go to usehelloaudio.com. All right, was this video helpful? If so, do let me know by giving it a like or leaving me a comment. That lets me know that uh, you'd like to see more videos like this and in that same vein, and then I can make more of them, all right? Plus, you're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home. Hey, if you're frustrated with the way your social media for your business is going and you want a streamlined plan where you can get more results with less work, check out my free masterclass, Three Secrets to a Streamlined Social Media Strategy, okay? You can click the link and get signed up right now or watch this video for more information.